Hello YouTube, welcome back to today's video, 2E0 IQJ. This week's video, we're going to make ourselves a Tiger Tail for this 2 and 70 handheld. And the good thing about this, this is really cheap, you've probably got bits lying around in your shack. Let's get started. Okay, so what we need is an isolated ring terminal. Now I got this kit from Lidl's about a year ago. For, yeah, it's alright for three quid, something to play about with. And um, we've got one here, the ring terminal. And we need to remove the blue bit, which is what I've done here. I'm gonna want some solder. So we're gonna solder some wires together. Some heat shrink. So I've got there just a piece of cut off there. That doesn't matter what colour you use. I mean, if you're going to use them for different bands, so say one for two, one for 70, you can use different colours. Gas lighter to shrink the heat shrink. And a piece of wire. Now, the piece of wire we've got here is an old piece of speaker wire. And this is 48, around about 48, 49 centimetres in length. And all I've done, one end, is strip it. If you find that the other end stripped, which mine isn't, you can just put a piece of heat shrink over there and uh, heat shrink it down to cover the exposed end. And this all we're going to do is place the wire through just like that and solder. Then the heat shrink goes across the top there. So let's get this uh, soldered on. Now, if you're finding that your cable's moving about on the desk, and what have you, I'm just going to, what I'm going to do, piece of blue tack to uh, hold it all into place while we solder. Just like that, now so I can zoom in. There we go. Get the iron clean and solder the wire on. Now I'm no good at soldering, so hopefully this is coming out okay. There we go, that should be it. And we're going to go and check our wire when it's cooled down a bit. Looks okay. Zoom out a bit. So, that's soldered on. Best I'm going to do and then what we're going to do now is once the wire's cooled down, add our heat shrink. Over the end. And using our gas lighter, wherever I've put it, there it is, going to shrink it down. There you go. Look at that. Like a bolt one. Okay, so you need to ditch the stock antenna for your handheld. And I'm using a Nagoya, and I think this is a 701, if you can see there. The writing's come off mine. I'm trying to get GB3NL. Now, it's one of the repeaters that needs a 1750 hertz tone. I think one of them left in the UK. There might be more about. So, if you know any more repeaters other than GB3NL, that needs a uh, 750 hertz tone, put it in the uh, comments below. Let's try and get in. Now on the side of my handheld, I've got a button that says Moni Stroke Tone Call. So I'm going to press it. Now, the repeater hasn't even come back to me, and I've pushed it three or four times. So let's add our tiger tail to it, and see if it makes a difference. And all we're going to do I see tiger tail go on top. Screw it down. Now don't do it too tight, just do it finger tight, don't over tighten it. You don't want to damage the socket on your radio. 
and we'll see if we get in at this time. There we go. 2E0 IQJ checking access for GB3NL. And the beeps come back to us. Oh, well, you're going to see that screen. There you go. So we managed to get into GB3NL. That was a very inexpensive way of making a Tiger Tower. This cost me about 50p. Piece of wire line around a ring terminal, isolator ring terminal, and some heat shrink. Thank you very much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. It's 2E0 IQJ. 7-3.